Hey guys, welcome to the beginning of the week. It's Monday. How are you? Thank you for watching. I'm Amanda and I'm sharing some positive tips and tricks to that have helped me to live a better life. And today I'm thinking about art and creativity and going after your dreams. So if you're someone who is trying to put yourself out there in big scary ways to do something new and awesome, I got something for you today. Um, mine has to do with art, but yours might be something different. It might be about going to get another job. I think this can apply to anything. Um, so, so my thing is I'm trying to, I am going, I am a muralist and I'm looking to get clients that want to pay me to do murals for them. And I have assisted on a really big one and I've done a solo one myself, but that's pretty much it for my muraling portfolio. So I can get in a lot of fear around putting myself out there with confidence and, you know, I think I need to believe that I deserve to be hired before anyone else is really going to hire me, right? So I'm, I'm working on that mindset and I'm working on that understanding. So yesterday I went to a coffee shop. I got a lead that the owner was looking for a mural. So I put on my, the professional artist clothes and had some prints and a business card and went over and I heard from one of the guys that worked there that they have had other people proposing murals but often they like one guy said he didn't have any references he didn't have a portfolio um, another guy didn't even live in the neighborhood and it was interesting to me to think that there are other people just going for it and they don't have qualifications necessarily or their portfolio and here I am sitting and I'm concocting all these assumptions about how this should work and like imagining that there's some kind of criteria based on really my own thinking, right? I don't really know any working muralists that are, that have told me like, this is how it has to be, right? It's just this like mysterious they in my mind that's like, you have to do it this way and you're probably doing it wrong and you don't have what it takes. That's just that bullshit chatter that goes on in my mind. And I'm sure many of you can relate to that. So it was really good for me to put myself out there and to listen and to hear that there's other people what it did was it boosted my confidence, right? It was like, oh, I'm I'm not starting with nothing. I've been an artist for a long time and I have this uh, portfolio to show the owner and maybe it's not a portfolio of murals that I've already done, but it's art and I've, and I've got some stuff to show her. And um, I do believe in myself today and I believe in my talent. And it's just important to remember that. It's like, who are we measuring ourselves against? Is that even reality? Um, the other muralist that I do know, I know a couple, um, one I know fairly well and one I only know a little bit. And the, the latter, I asked her once, I was like, how did you get into murals? How did you do this? I want to do this. And she's like, I just started to do it. And I just think it's important to try to recognize where we're holding ourselves back with some imaginary thing of how things should be. And, and the best way to get past that is to just go for it and to learn what you might be missing, right? Like I've had a lot of people, I had a handmade business card yesterday and I've had a lot of people, that's the first thing they ask for is a business card. So that's on my to-do list is to actually get an official one going, right? Um, but when I hear people say, oh, this guy didn't even have any references, and I can say, oh, I have references, that helps me build my confidence and it helps me realize that I do have something to offer the world, um, maybe more than the person I think I'm in competition with. And that's a whole other thing about competition and all that. that I think that's kind of a bogus way to approach the world. But anyways, this talk today is about picking apart, being ruthless with the thoughts that are holding you back. And if you have some kind of voice in your head or some kind of assumption that's being like, well, you can't do this because of this, this, and this, push back against that. Test that a little bit. See, is that even true? And if it is, can I, can I get the thing that I think that I'm missing? Can I go out into the world? Can I have the bravery to put myself out there and say, hey, I don't know that I'm 100% ready to do this, but I feel like I'm pretty ready and I'm I'm at least ready to try. And can you take the feedback and see, you know, maybe you are farther along than you think. Or maybe you do have some things to learn and you can go learn those and then go back out there with even more confidence. So I hope this made sense. I hope it helped. And I hope you have a beautiful day. As you can see from the changing light, the sun is kind of out and showing itself. So I'm going to enjoy the sun. Hope you do as well if you have it in your area. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.